so messages actually gives us the status of what exactly is happening in a program so there will be different types of uh, messages that we can populate the first one happens to be the status message we need to do it we need to populate with a uh, letter s then we have information message this starts with i then we have error message e then we have warning message w then we have uh, abort message a next last is the exit message x now these are the different types of messages that we can populate in a program so what we'll do is we'll just quickly write a simple program uh, in which i'll explain you how this get, gets populated so for this like um, we need to first and foremost is we need to create a message class so the data means the text will be taken from here okay what what matter has to be displayed on the screen is taken from this message classes message class text and uh, the type of message what type of message should get populated it will be displayed from these uh, values yeah okay so let us go ahead and now create these uh, messages and then see how it works So first and foremost is we need to create a, a message class in AC91 and in this message class I'll give it a ZV underscore MSG create. So this is a message class that we are creating and we are creating it in AC91. Now here we have to go for messages and in this local object then we have 001. color is red color is white so this is a text that will get populated there color is green color is yellow color is brown and here we'll write as color is unknown these all uh, messages needs to be populated there whenever that uh, when, whenever we keep the condition so this is the text that gets populated from here nothing else type of message we are going to decide within the program so let me create a program for this So here I'll just take a parameters p underscore color. I'll just take that. I'm not giving the type. I'm not giving the length. Default type is one. Default type is character. And default length is one. Then we have to go for at at selection screen. So in that selection screen, I'll write if if p underscore color is equal to r. Then message s001 is what i'll i'll populate and if now and if and now let us see this output i'm i'm going to give it as r and then
okay message id have to be defined here we didn't make, make, define the message id message id happens to be zb underscore msg so that from that message id it has to take the text the text will be taken from the message id message class and uh, the type of message will be populated for the first letter now here we'll go for r say okay so it gives a status message here color is red now then we have then we'll have the else uh, and if uh, else if else if t underscore color is equal to w message status message is done now we'll go for information message i002 so the type of message is de is defined by the first letter okay so first letter letter defines what exactly is the type the type of messages activate so i'll go for um, w and execute it says color is white and this is coming in the pop up why it's coming in the pop up because we have given it as information view so if it's an information information message, it will come in the pop up like this, and it will not stop us to go further. Okay, it, you can go further into the into the next screen. So these two types of messages, that is status message and information message, are both positive. It will not stop you to go further in the next screen, but rest of all the messages will stop you to go further. Okay, it will be it, till there you you get it, and after that. You just need to stop okay so let's see the error message now how it populates so for error message we'll just give it as else if again p underscore color is equals to g then you have to populate message uh, e003 so let's see that now so let me give g here let me give G here and execute. The moment you say that and enter, say color is green is in co color is green is coming. The text is coming from uh, from the message class, but that type of message is coming from the letter. Letter is E. Sir, what is the selection screen doing here? Sorry, which one? Yeah. yeah, at selection screen is an event. Without that event, the functionalities that we are doing on the screen will not work. At selection screen is an event, which we have used in the events program, right? If we comment this event, uh, whatever we are saying, that will not work. Fine. So what we'll do right now is we'll go ahead with the next one, else if part again. Else if p underscore color is equals to y yellow. So you need to give this. Uh, whatever you write in the brackets needs to be in capital letters. I told you in the beginning, right? There are certain things that we have to make sure you write it in a capital letters. This is one of them. You need to write this. Whatever you Key, whatever you are writing in the inverted quotes have to be in capital letters only. Okay, otherwise it doesn't work. I'll explain later why. But here I'll go for warning message 004. So it will come and warning message will come in yellow. So in few of the things will be stopped here. Few of them will not be stopped. So we'll just execute that and go for Y and say execute. So it, it says color is yellow. Okay, uh, spelling is wrong. So I'll just need to correct that. So here we have it in yellow color. We have it in yellow color. And if you just double click on it, we can take that uh, messages. Fine. 
now we'll go for else if part again yellow and then we have b b brown so we have message a005 a about will just come out of the program simply it will come out of the program if there is no other option just it will come out of the program that's it so if you execute this and see this b execute so color is brown will come in the pop okay but there will not be any option to continue okay it's just like okay and then it will go ahead to the next screen okay this is what will happen so you 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 will not be able to continue that you 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 have to you know come out of it there's no other alternative to this okay now that happens to be that happens to be for type a then we have else if e underscore color okay no not else if else else message x 0 0 0 now the type of message which is x that is exit message is extremely important in the in the in the in the scenario where we are running background jobs and all so when you are running the background jobs and all uh, we will not know what is happening if there is any error how will we know that there is an error so there sh it should be recorded somewhere so in in the in the type x uh, type of message this record this error what we have uh, you know what got populated in the program everything can be evaluated in st22 transaction you can go back later and evaluate it from st22 transaction so what is the advantage of it is like if say there is some background job which automatically executes every day okay it's, it's a predefined one so now one find a data is not coming and you want to see why the data is not coming so you can go ahead into the st22 check if there is any error and that error you can evaluate and fix it up and then send it again this is what we have so let us do that now what we'll do is we'll go ahead with the activate and execute so in this we have let's say i go for t for t we have not handled anything so it will directly go to the else part so when it goes to else part immediately uh, this dump error will get created so this dump error you can evaluate and you can see what exactly happened in which line the error came so all these things can be given shown here now in this if you see the error has come in the 16th line error has come in the 16th line we can clearly see that okay this is what we have Sir. Yes. Sir, Alpimam is asking to call. Sorry. <coughs> Alpimam is calling. Wanted to talk to him, so he is asking to call. Your voice is breaking. Can you please message that in the in the box? <laughs> sir, uh, sir, sir, wants to talk to you, sir. Acha, acha, acha. Okay, so right now. No, she wants to call. Uh, yes, sir. Call. Uh, uh, on a call or in the meeting? On a call. On a call, she said. Okay, share your, share my number and uh, I'll just talk to her on the call. I'll share her number. Okay, you're sharing her number to me. You want me to call or she'll be calling? She asked you to call. Okay, share her number to me. I'll call her. 